Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So a lot of big new tech came out in 2017, one of the most notable being the iPhone X. But everyone knows about the big players, so instead of showing you the 5 best gadgets of 2017, I've decided to take a look at the worst. So in this list, I'll be showing you the 5 worst gadgets of 2017. Number 5. Juicero one big craze that millions of people are adopting is juicing. It's healthy, nutritious, but also expensive if you buy it from stores freshly made. So a must-have gadget for all the juicers out there is something like a Nutribullet, a simple blender type device that you cram in a bunch of vegetables and it creates a nice healthy juice for you. The Nutribullet has been around for years and it's been an extremely successful product. So if you're trying to get into that market, whatever your product is, it has to be unique and not just a Nutribullet knockoff. That's exactly what the creators of Juicero did. Their machine lets you create fresh juice from home. Sounds pretty good, except for a few things. Firstly, you can't just buy fruit and vegetables and put it in the Juicero. No, you need to buy their own special packets of blended up produce. These packets cost between $4 to $10 each. Then the actual price of the Juicero at first was a whopping $700. To be fair to them, they did reduce the price to $400, but that's still ridiculously expensive for what it is. These two points made it a hard sale already, but to top it off, Bloomberg reported that you didn't actually need the machine to create the juice. One could simply just squeeze their produce packets by hand into a glass and have the same effect. This ultimately completely killed off their product and customers were pretty pissed off. Number 4. Atari Speaker Hat there's nothing more annoying than someone playing music through their speakers in public. I think it's safe to say nobody wants to hear what you're listening to, and if you want to enjoy music then please invest in a pair of headphones. However, Atari had the brilliant idea of creating the world's biggest douchebag gadget. It's a baseball cap with a Bluetooth speaker and microphone inbuilt into the brim. They say it's aimed at fitness enthusiasts who want to go for their morning jog without worrying about their headphones falling out of their ears. That's fair enough, but this isn't really a massive problem for most people. If you don't like the wires on your headphones, you can buy wireless ones. If your headphones keep falling out of your ears when you run, then there are a range of headphones that will literally cling onto your ears. The only reason someone would buy the Atari speaker hat is to show off how much money they have. The big Atari logo at the front of the hat makes the product stand out so everyone will know you spent a good $130 on a completely useless product. Since it has an inbuilt microphone, you can also accept calls with the hat. So be prepared to be looked at like a complete lunatic in public when you're having a loud conversation using your hat. Realistically, I can't see myself ever finding this product useful. I've never been in a situation where I felt having a speaker and microphone built into my hat would have been beneficial. And while I can't speak for the rest of the world, I just don't see this product ever really taking off. Number 3. Nissan's Fork This product looked like a gag gift at first, but amazingly the products were actually serious about the idea. When it comes to cutlery, there's nothing you can really do to improve it. The simple knife, fork and spoon combo is as good as it can be. No one in the history of mankind ever said they wished their fork had Bluetooth connectivity. But Nissin decided that people actually want a fork that can connect to your smartphone. So what exactly does it do? Does it track how many bites you take out of your food and give you tips on how to eat more efficiently? Nope, in fact all it does is emit sounds at certain wavelengths to cover up the slurping noise you make when eating noodles. So how much will one of these forks set you back? Well, if you're really self-conscious about your slurping noises, then be prepared to spend $130 on this fork. Or you could just try your best to not slurp when eating. The best part is that the handle of the fork isn't waterproof, so good luck cleaning it without accidentally breaking it. It's also worth mentioning that the battery life only lasts one hour between charges. If you ever bought one of these forks, you'd use it once, 
go to wash it and break it. Or you'll use it once, forget to charge it, realize the battery's dead, use a regular fork and forget it ever existed. Number 2. Hush Me The concept behind this gadget is good. The idea is to be able to have a conversation over the phone without disturbing people around you. That's a decent idea, but to create such a gadget capable of doing this is where it all goes wrong. Essentially, the Hush Me is a weird mask that wraps around your mouth. It looks so ridiculous to wear that using it in public will probably be more of a distraction to people than the actual phone call itself. When using the Hush Me, your voice becomes muffled to everyone else, so it doesn't actually get rid of any sound. But the creators decided that to drown down your voice even more, the device should make strange beeping noises through a set of external speakers. You can also set it to make more natural noises like rain if you prefer. This in my opinion now makes the whole idea of the product useless. If it's meant to not disturb people, making a lot of noise is the exact opposite. However, I may be wrong about what people think to this product. Since on Kickstarter it raised over $70,000 in funding, so there must be people out there who love the idea. You can now buy a Hush Me from Indiegogo for $189. Number 1. Tiforia Leaf Some things in the world benefit from being smart, other things don't. For example, phones becoming smartphones is a good thing, however a smart tea machine is just not necessary. Making tea is such a simple process. You get a tea bag, put it in a cup and pour in boiling water. You don't need a Wi-Fi enabled smartphone connected machine to make such a simple beverage. The Tiforia Leaf is exactly that. It's a machine that makes tea and can connect to your smartphone. You can't use normal tea bags, you have to use their own little expensive capsules to make tea. This means you pay a few dollars for a cup of tea and the machine itself will already set you back $400. The creators say that the Tiforia Leaf is a machine learning tea infusion device using advanced algorithms and encyclopedic knowledge of tea to create the perfect cup. Now don't get me wrong, I'm sure it makes fantastic tasting tea, but it's just so pointless. Even if I was a billionaire and physically couldn't spend all my money, I still wouldn't have the urge to ever buy this product. To me, it looks like it will create more hassle. If you run out of capsules or the Wi-Fi goes down, then you can't make a cup of tea. A simple kettle and tea bag is good enough. It's quick, reliable, efficient and makes a decent cup of tea. Because of all these reasons, it probably comes as no surprise that the company that made the Tiforia Leaf has already gone under. Thank you for watching. To subscribe, click over here to watch another awesome video, then click down here. Do make sure to turn on channel notifications and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All details are on screen and in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching, and until next time, feed your mind.